also on my Pisces. So if you're looking for a place where you want to get tarot readings based upon love, talking about love, this is what it is that I do here. I've never loved uh, out of a thousand different uh, uh, people who I was getting to know, right? Um, I never loved any of them the exact same way. They were all unique to their own particular situation. And um, if this is something that you would like to know, get closer to finding your other half, your twin flame, your your uh, your soulmate, your love partner, right? Then you came to the right channel. I would suggest you subscribe to the YouTube page. Appreciate it if you did. So the cards that I come up with are the Five of Cups, and you have the Devil, Three of Pentacles, the uh, Ten of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, <laughs> Two of Pentacles, the Lovers, Page of Swords, you have the Seven of Wands, and then you Pisces have the Four. So no major arcana that represents the Pisces, right? Pisces would usually uh, be represented by um, the Moon and also, sorry about that, the Moon and also um, the Hangman. So what I'm seeing here for a lot of you Pisces is you Pisces happen to be right now in a situation where the Five of Cups, the Devil, and the Three of Pentacles. If you Pisces right now happen to be in a very, or just getting out of, or maybe I'll say, if you Pisces happen to be in a relationship that is obsessive, it's time for you Pisces to pretty much get out of the relationship. Um, more than likely you already have because you have the five of cups, right? This is what it is and I'm picking up. Um, you're already not there. You're already not in a relationship. You were in a very intense relationship. This is what I'm picking up, right? Um, the person, you have the devil card, the three of pentacles. The person started to stalk you. The person started to get very obsessive and things for you Pisces could have even potentially turned for the worse, unfortunately. But the Ten of Cups and the Six of Pentacles represents, since this is the case, the Ten of Cups and the Six of Pentacles represents how you Pisces happen to be in a relationship with someone already. And it's a very good relationship, right? Benevolent relationship, generally speaking, of course. Um, because it's a very it's a very good reciprocal give and take relationship. It's not a parasitic one where you have this person from before, they would try to take and take and take from you what without actually adding anything of substance in return. So the next couple of cards are the Two of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Page of Swords. These three cards represent how a lot, since that's the case, a lot of you uh, Pisces were in a situation where what you want to do is what what you want to do is um this part just i should say you should know that this person is thinking about you quite a lot and um the two of pentacles the lovers and the page of swords represents this person is thinking about coming back into your life now they are having a hard time understanding that because they're thinking that they're thinking that they can come back into your life and that they're actually the one bringing the praises in, right? Like the chariot card after, you know, being victorious after a battle, right? But they don't seem to understand that they were the one creating terror in your life, making you miserable. And as a result of this, a lot of you Pisces didn't necessarily want to deal with them, but this person is thinking about coming back because you have the two of pentacles and the lovers, okay? So the seven of wands and the fool represents if you don't want this person, because they're going to come back in, they're going to try. If you don't want this person coming back in, you need to prepare yourself right now to make sure that this person doesn't come back in. How do you do that? Well, one of the ways on how it is that you Pisces can do that is by first and foremost, get, you know, changing your number. The only people who should be having your number right around now are the people who are the closest to you, the people who you've screened and yourself, and you realize that they are not, you know, a detriment to you. 
So let's clarify the fool. Let's clarify the fool. So you have the Ten of, of uh, Pentacles, the Queen of uh, Wands, and then you have the Knight, the Knight of Wands. So to clarify the fool, right? The Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles represents how this is a situation where, um, Oh, also to alert your significant other if you think that there's a possibility that this person that represents the devil, right? Where it was it was a very dysfunctional relationship. Alert your partner if you think this person is going to come back. You did get the two of pentacles and the lovers. This person is thinking about coming back right now, all right? And then you have the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands is a very serious situation because the Queen of Wands represents you, you handling your business. You already have someone new. You Pisces are good. As of right now, you Pisces are good. But what you know for sure is you're never going to go back to that person. The Knight of Wands, however, right, i.e. Spears, Wands, is the same thing in this suit, just different names. But the Knight of Wands represents, since this is the case, a lot of you Pisceans, right, don't see that this person, if they decide to come in, they're going to be even more persistent this time. They're not necessarily going to take no for an answer. And that could where, that's, that's where things can get a little bit more um, out of hand, if you know what I mean. Uh, things can get a little bit wild. Right? You don't want that. Now, let's clarify the Two of Pentacles. So you have the Strength, the Page of uh, Pentacles, and then you have the Five of Wands. Now, the Strength represents this person is trying to make it seem as if they're going to give you a second chance, when in actuality, they're too egocentric to admit that they're the ones that, that's messed up, and you really would be giving them a chance if you decided to say yes. The Page of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. The Page of Pentacles and the Five of Wands represents you, Pisces, also happen to be in a situation where you're getting what it is that you deserved, which is a happy relationship. They don't care about that. Right? The Five of Wands represents don't even try to have these people as friends. Otherwise, they are going to create mischief within a relationship and they're going to dirty Mac trying to get you to doubt the relationship that you already are in. So don't fall for it. They haven't changed. Peace.